Cure 2 cures many status ailments, and Cleave hopefully hits everyone. Attack against all enemies. Okie dokie. Using TP. I suppose I could try and walk outside, but I want to... Oh. Okay. Excuse me. wonder what happens if you try to walk out the door. This is the last part. Classes and Actors tabs. Let's see the Classes tab first. A class is like a profession. It's something you assign to a character. Your hero can be a swordsman, a wizard, a nun, even an indie game developer. This is his or her class, and we assign this class here. A class gives the hero a unique set of features, like certain skills he or she can use, certain equipment that he or she can equip, experience and parameter growth curves. It's a way to give advantages and disadvantages to certain characters. As usual, the same well-known interface is also here with the IDs, etc, etc. Not a surprise. So first goes the name of the class, then goes the Experience Curve Editor button. Here you design how fast a character of the certain class can level up. All parameters grow as the character levels up. How that growth goes step by step, level after level, can be set by double clicking on any curve you want. You add skills for the class and also at which level the hero learns them. Parameters can be used to specify. Exclusive bonuses, usable equipment, usable skill types. The features list is already analyzed elsewhere, so let's go on. Behold the interface that can be used to set an attribute's growth, like attacks for instance. The growth is set for each level. You can actually click with your mouse to the graphic curve and change it. Pretty easy, really. And here comes the final tab. Actors. Wait, 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 who is Erica? I haven't seen an Erica in this game. Once again, same interface. You set name, nickname, class, add a description. You set the initial level, the one the hero starts the game with, and the max level possible. Here you set... <laughs> you set graphic picture, sprite animation picture. And also the initial equipment the hero starts the game with. <laughs> Don't worry about what I'm laughing at. You can also add unique features not included into class. Features are already explained, so that concludes the database tour. <laughs> I can't tell you what's so funny. It's... Anyway. Hey, Chi. Jockster hey, Russell, you said eat. How about giving me the final books? There you go. Got the database volumes four, five, and six. So I guess that's, that's the last of it. All right. Well, maybe I was supposed to walk outside or something. I didn't see any other tutorials. Give me a sec. I'm trying to tweak the, okay. the stream on my end. Okay. Oh, there he is. Because he kidnapped. Ah, he kidnapped the princess. The tutorial's finished, and defeating failure is optional. What's most important is that you can make your game now. Thanks for reaching the game so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, let's go kick his ass. Yeah, let's go. Let's go defeat failure. Hey, let's be a winner. Where's our? Oh, he's doing his, his thing, right? I gotta train myself enough before facing failure. I must win. I am right behind you, Dread Shadow. Go for it! <laughs> she finally said something. Oh my god! Alright, let's do this. <laughs> oh, by the way, is Dread Shadow supposed to be a name I should know? Is this uh, someone you guys know? He's it's the guy who made on the, the game. forum. Yeah. He made the what? game. He made the game. Did he ask you to preview this, or what? Well, I think he made it last year. Yeah, he made it for a game-making contest. I think he made it for last year's IGMC, actually. I so think so. the question. Do you guys know him? I know I him not. on the forum. I don't know him personally. Right. He was on the stream the last couple times I was playing this. Oh, wow. All right. Cool. Thanks. Well, right. I guess we can go on forward. All righty. You are here. Brace yourselves. You really never learn. Final failure. 
game. <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna spam triple attack, really. Let's see how much damage he does, too. Ah, that's not bad. Gotta rescue that princess. Oh hell, what do I need to save magic for? I'll just fully heal. Oh no, not the nun! Not the nun! Not the nun. Man, he is not a fan of Hun the Nun. Well, he went down easy. Yeah, yeah no problem. Easy. Well, he is a it failure. Can't be. Congratulations on finishing events. You can roam in the maps freely now. You can also read every tutorial from the menu again to do your revision. I don't know if Geoxer's back with us yet. <laughs> Alright. Final, but important advice. Make a rewarding ending. This ending is kinda lame. I like it! And I actually like you too! Huh. Okay, this ending might not be lame after all. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, the credits. And I'm trying to scroll. I remember him saying these are very, very long. Selling this game is prohibited. You can redistribute this game as a whole. You may not redistribute any resources used in the software if you have no permission or license from the respective copyright holders. Game development started November 6, 2014. Oh no, June 11th, because he's European dates. Yeah, okay, there you go. The IGMC 2014. Cliché story, dialogues, lame jokes, lessons, pictures of ending, some tile ending, by Dread. If you want to say thanks for this game tutorial, here's an email. Events by Dread at Hotmail.com Made using RPG Maker People... VX Ace. People still use Hotmail? I guess so. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I still use Hotmail. Alright. The game also uses the Rural Farm Tiles Resource Pack, which uh, Celiana developed. So if you like some of the extra tile sets that we use in those maps, you can go to her blog listed there, siliana.wordpress.com. Without those tile sets, this game would be uglier, like the wasteland of ignorance. So Siliana, mm -hmm. thank you for making something so beautiful. Rural Farm tile set is slightly edited by Dread to fit specific personal needs. Same goes for some original RTP tiles. Also made with the simple anti-lag script, anti-animation lag, and clear memory by Mog Hunter. Here's that link to the blog. Uh, Neon Black also has a display rounding error fix, but apparently he doesn't have a web page, so if you want, you can look up Neon Black for that particular script. Any copyrighted material or any trademark used or was mentioned in this game belongs <laughs> to their respective owners. The software is provided by the copyright holders and contributors as is and any express or implied warranties, including but not limited to the implied warranties of merchantability and fitness for a particular purpose, are disclaimed. In no event to the copyright owner, contributors be liable for any direct and direct that's a devil special exemplary or consequential damages, including but not limited to procurement of substitute goods or services, loss of use, data, or profits, a business interruption, ever caused in any other theory of liability, whether in context, strict liability, or tort, including negligence, or otherwise rising in any way out of the use of the software, even advise the possibility of such damage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can read fast. <laughs> Ah, uh, if people want to read the well, credits. Well, now I screwed you up. <laughs> Let's do some greetings. And sh oh, my God. Okay, he wants to thank all the Steam community members. You know who you are. Everyone else who believed in the project. Greetings and respect to Kaz. Probably for Kaz Awesome Lighting, I guess. Mog Hunter, Yonfly, Gal, Fomar, Neon Black, Yami, Raven TDA, Evil Eagles, Lunaria, Archea, is it Archie or Archia? I've, I've always wondered if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And so on. Probably, probably honestly mispronounced half the names on the forum. <laughs> Special thanks to Marquise. Actually, yeah. Um, I had a, an ogre sprite that I did an edit from that Marquise had posted, so... 
pretty eight. I don't know who Zombie Steve is, but apparently he was the uh, post-beta test bug that was breaking the game flow early on. It's eternal gratitude Aww. to his sister and to his girlfriend for her support, love, and faith. Best friend who goes with the alias Stone Devil for being there getting me out of the mud every time I slipped into a swamp of feelings and correcting all the text. And a big thanks to everyone else who played and hung out. Alright, so that is the event tutorial by Dread Shadow. So, I uh, need to go pick up Demon Hunter now. So let me go do that real quick. Well, I should have done oh, that before. Demon Hunter's a pretty good game. Is it? I've never played it before, but it was requested for me to play it. And I thought pretty I darn okay. I thought I had downloaded it already, but apparently I had not. Okay. So I no. should. Okay. Error? Let's see here. Oh, it should be on the last page. Um I'm going to go ahead and, and stop the stream at the moment so that when I upload these videos to YouTube, it'll be condensed into just Dread Shadows event tutorial, and then I'll start streaming again so that it'll be Demon Hunter. So I'll be right back.